All right, beer drinkers, let's drink some beer. Hey, what's up there, beer drinkers? This is Grumpy Gamer Dad, and this is the United States of Beer America. So uh, today I've got my new edition of Beer Drop. This box here features my beer drop for August 2020. So if you've been following along, uh, Beer Drop is a beer subscription service. Yeah, you heard that right. Uh, these are all beers from Colorado, which so far have been very impressive. Uh, you can set your different levels. There's different price levels. There's different uh, flavor levels. So if you want a mix, you want all IPA, whatever. I choose the all IPA version. Um, and I've been happy so far. This is my third month now getting this. All right. So before I show you what beers came in this month's uh, beer drop, I'm going to show you what beers came in last month's in July's beer drop. I'm actually going to go in order um, from the tasting notes to make life easier on me. So first up, we've got this one here, Electric Cowboy. Uh, it says it's a Southwest IPA. <clears throat> The best of the West, this West Coast IPA has a beautiful, juicy kick. That's all we get. A beautiful, juicy kick. Uh, it is 6.5% alcohol by volume. Nice and clear. It is juicy. I don't get the kick, though. I don't know what the kick was, but um, it's not bad. Uh, it's a little bit on the lighter side for an IPA, in my opinion. Um, but it's smooth. This one came from Diebolt Brewing Company uh, in Denver, Colorado. All right, so next up we're going to try this one here, Galloping Juice IPA from Telluride uh, Brewing Company. So this is a hazy IPA. Uh, let's read the tasting notes. It says Galloping Juice number four with Citra, Azaka, and Mosaic Terpenes. Hopefully I pronounced all that right. Mmm, I smell the citrus. Nice and smooth. No aftertaste. Citrus throughout. Juicy. Uh, I like this one. This may have just shot up to my favorite from this set. So the beer drop tastings continue. Uh, I was going in order, but I'm going to skip the Intergalactic Juice Hunter uh, just because I don't know what a milkshake IPA is and I just ate dinner. So this brings us to Four Noses Brewing Company's About Damn Time. Like the name. According to the tasting notes, uh, it's an insertive yet crushable American India Pale Ale with citrus notes and crisp malts. And on the side of the can here, it says, crisp malt, citrus notes, assertive. Wow. Not too hazy. 7.1% uh, alcohol by volume. Mmm. Citrus notes. I don't know if I'll taste the assertiveness, though. I have the citrus flavor. It is nice and crisp. Can't say if it's assertive or not, but it's pretty good. This is the last beer. I think I saved the weirdest for last. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to save the best for last yet, but this is the Odd 13 Brewing Intergalactic Juice Hunter Double India Pale Ale. Uh, this one says it's a double IPA with Galaxy Amarillo and Simcoe hops contains lactose, 8% alcohol by volume. Um, I've been a little apprehensive about this one. Double milkshake IPA. Pretty hazy. It's different, that's for sure. The milkshake IPA aspect of it, it makes it taste a little milky. Um, a little citrus, definitely citrus forward, but then 
there is a lingering citrus taste to it as well. Very sweet on the finish. Not bad, um, but not my favorite. And so uh, that concludes the tastings for the July beer drop. Now let's see what we have for August. Now once again, I chose an all IPA choice. I might mix that up in the future, but um, I've had really good luck with it. Good success. So beers inside. That makes me happy just knowing that. And there is a personalized beer tasting list here. Uh, some notes for tasting. All right, so here are this month's selection. 10 beers. The price point is $40. There's a $5 delivery fee and taxes, whatever. It's under $50 for some beers that you're probably not going to be able to get at your local liquor store or, uh, you know, BevMo type retailer. So let's see what we've got. First up, we've got from uh, Station 26, which I've had before. They had a Bang Bang IPA. I tasted that before, but this one is called Another Hazy IPA. It's a New England IPA, 6.4% alcohol by volume. Station 26 Brewing. This one is pretty cool. This one's called F Feral Beer Hawk. Uh, it's a pale ale, 5.7% alcohol by volume. And it's from Flight Co. Brewing Company, Rock Climber IPA. It's an American IPA, 6.8% alcohol by volume. And this is from Living the Dream Brewing Company in Colorado. This one looks interesting. It's called Hop Nectar. Uh, it's a hazy IPA, 5.3% alcohol by volume. And it's from Liquid Mechanics Brewing Company. And finally, we've got this one. It's called Sun Temple IPA. It's from Spice Trade Brewing Company. That's a wicked cool looking, I don't know, is that a Phoenix demon thing? I don't know. Cool art. It may actually be the winner for the best can art in this one, although the best name so far goes to Feral Beer Hawk. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to drink these over the next uh, month or so. Uh, after they're chilled and I will uh, as I taste them I will film it and then we'll put it all together next month when we open the September beer drop I'll show you the tastings from this month and then what is coming for the next month get it got it good I hope you enjoy it like subscribe follow me on Instagram at grumpy gamer dad until next time, this is Grumpy Gamer Dad saying the only bad thing about a beer is when it's empty. Drink responsibly.